Now, a Target 12 investigators exclusive. For years, we've been tracking the million dollar salaries paid to local hospital executives. Tonight, we've obtained the latest numbers and they're already sparking outrage from the hospital rank and file. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi has the exclusive details. These new tax filings show the top executives at Rhode Island's two largest hospital groups took home more than $5 million combined. 2021 was a challenging time inside local hospitals as staff struggled through the second year of the COVID-19 pandemic, but it was still a lucrative time to lead Rhode Island's largest health system, Lifespan. IRS filings newly obtained by Target 12 reveal Lifespan paid its then-CEO Timothy Babineau over $3.1 million in 2021, including a $50,000 bonus. That was actually a pay cut for Babineau, who had taken home almost $4 million the year before but he's still ranked among the highest paid hospital leaders in southern New England. Your reaction when you hear Babineau made $3.1 million? That's obscene. Absolutely obscene. Lynn Blaze leads the state's largest union of nurses and other health professionals. We are struggling every day to provide care for the patients. We are told numerous times we don't have the money, we don't have the money, we don't have the money. And to see a CEO making that kind of money as a, um, a CEO in Rhode Island, it's just unheard of and unacceptable. Executive compensation at Lifespan is set by its board of directors. The board's chairman declined Target 12's request for an interview, but a spokesperson for the nonprofit health system said in part, quote, Lifespan competes for executive talent both regionally and nationally, which requires compensation levels in line with the median salaries for executives in similar positions in health care. Executive pay remained more modest at Rhode Island's other major health system, women and infants owner Care New England. IRS filings show its then CEO Jim Finale made $1.9 million in 2021, similar to his pay the year before. Care New England's board chairman also declined to speak with Target 12, but a spokesperson said in part, quote, the board works with external consultants and examines industry benchmarks for comparable organizations when setting executive compensation. Blaze says she doesn't buy the argument because we make the same argument that our trauma center here in Rhode Island should be being paid the same numbers that the nurses that are working in a trauma center in Boston and we're told if you want those that money work in Boston so if a CEO wants that money work in Boston both those CEOs have since stepped down from their jobs, but because of the timing of IRS filings, the health systems won't disclose until next year whether either man got a significant exit payout. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, 12 News.